Uh, good morning to all. Uh, now I request uh, Professor Dr. Kannan uh, to welcome the participants and also give the introduction about the uh, guest speaker for today's webinar. Over to Mr. Dr. Kannan. Uh, sir, good afternoon to one and all present here. On behalf of KCG College of Technology, I, I, welcome, I, wel I welcome you all to the webinar on energy management and energy auditing. We have a research person who has experience in the energy auditing and energy manager. I will give a brief introduction about him. Uh, our today's speaker is Dr. P. Thermalingam. He is the director of National Productivity Council. He did P.Tech at Automobile at MIT. And he did uh, PG at uh, Dr. Ambedkar National Productivity Council at uh, Chennai. Then SAR has visited more than uh, 20 countries. And he has visited uh, so many, four, more than 400 industries. He has audited energy auditing, energy, energy, uh, energy auditor in the different sectors, steels and pipes, so many industries are uh, textiles. So, uh, so many industries are, as, SAR has uh, audited so many industries. So he has a very rich in experience. We have the today session with Dr. P. Thermalingam. Sir, please. Shall I continue, Kannan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can continue, sir. You can uh, share your screen, sir. OK. Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy. And uh, uh, thanks to the management of uh, uh, the college for uh, sponsoring this program. Uh, <clears throat> I think I will start uh, with uh, my slides. Okay, uh, uh, my first slide I want to say everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, once again, uh, good afternoon. Uh, the today's uh, uh, the presentation title is on energy management, energy auditing, and employment opportunities or career opportunities. So, and my name is uh, Dharma Linga. I am an accredited energy auditor from uh, Government of India, Bureau of Energy Efficiency. I worked in National Product Council for uh, 32 years. And uh, currently, I am a director and CEO of NCF Consultants and Training Private Limited. So I put this simple. These are all in India who are all uh, the organization or establishment involved in energy-related areas. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency, Ministry of Power, EESL, National Productivity Council, YNGC, GAI, PCRA, and the NGO organization like CII, FITI, etc. There are a number of organizations in India who the stakeholders of energy is very high in India. So now I will introduce about a few things about me. Uh, I am in addition to the accredited energy auditors. I am also certified ISO 50001 ENMS auditors and uh, uh, CMVP and green building professionals also, green building certification professionals. And I worked in the National Productivity Council 35 years. I conducted more than 450 energy audit in India and other abroad also, in both the industrial sector and the building sectors. Uh, the training one of my uh, pet, and I have trained more than um, 15,000 engineers in India abroad. So I also, other countries I visited, I conducted exam and certified energy auditors exam. We conducted some few countries. And uh, so I am also, the lead author or one of the co-author or main and the team leader of the energy efficiency guidebook published by the government of India. Based on this book, the entire Indian uh, the professionals are writing the examination from 2003 onwards till today. So in addition, I have established also practical training energy efficiency center, one of the unique center in Asia Pacific countries. The only thing available in Chennai AAP. So I also got award from USA for uh, training and development of energy auditors in the country. So with this, I will move on to the coverages. In today's coverages, webinar coverages, I will discuss about the global and Indian energy scenario and uh, what are the challenges in our industry and commercial building are facing today. Then what are the government initiatives, Indian government initiatives taken for meeting the climate change requirements? There are some of the schemes brought by the government of India. I will explain about this. And the third point is I will discuss about the what is energy management and energy auditing activities um, aspects. And uh, finally, I will touch upon the career and employment opportunities once you become energy manager, energy, energy auditors in the countries. 
Then finally, last fifteen minutes, we will spare for a question and answers. And uh, now we will go to the first slide. So, what are the our Indian industries facing challenges today? You know, any industry we have a huge industrial sector infrastructure in India. So, the large energy energy intensive industries, MSMEs, or even the service sectors, all they have a problem of uh, energy related uh, things. Today, the energy cost is going up, energy consumption is going up, and environment uh, legal requirements increasing. So, any industry that material input materials, all of you know that manpower, raw material, electricity, oil, water, chemicals, everything we have to supply day and day to input. So, we not only producing the final output that is a final product. In addition to this in production, we are also releasing the pollutions that is the air pollutions. Which is uh, any every industry has to meet the compliance. Otherwise, because of the pollution, the industry will be closed. So they have to meet the requirement, and this becomes a very stringent every day. What is the SOX, NOX, PM, and the CO, CO2 emissions we have to meet, and a lot of energy losses is taking place. So of the hundred percent energy, if you put into the factory, nearly twenty-five to thirty percent of energy is being wasted. That is another the losses, profit losses. Then, if you see the liquid, liquid pollution. Another thing is, if any chemical industries or cross industries, tanneries, textiles, they cannot leave the effluent just like that. So, a lot of energy also is wasting it, and the environment also affected. The river salt becomes bad. So, there is a legal requirements you have to meet while taking care of uh, the energy also. The in addition, solid waste also is taking place. So, in this process, not we people are focusing on final product. But there is a skilled manpower is required in all those these requirement. So if you use only energy, then the environment pollution comes. So it's a both sides are a coin. So we need the a professional good professionals are required to meet the all those uh, legal requirements and the skilled manpower to meet the technical challenges. So out of this, uh, how many legal and statutory compliance to meet every year by the industries? Energy related, environment related are very high. If it is a uh, energy intensive industries, there is one more uh, pet audit that is a uh, uh, Bureau of Energy is asking to conduct a compulsory to energy audit and submit the report and the requirements. So, if you look at the energy today, we are talking about so how much are they spending? Some industries spending five percentage of the total uh, final production manufacturing cost. Some industries like aluminium, cement, and all thirty to forty forty percentage of the Uh, final product cost goes to the only electricity or energy. So it is very very important all over the world. The energy input is becoming very costly, and it is a waste is taking place. Environmental is uh, producing it. So we have to take care of the in effective way to conserve the energy. Then if you look at the power sectors today, how today's industries gets power supply from various resources. All of you know that in our house we get electricity from electricity board T N F. Only one source. But industry is not like that. The industry is getting electricity from tangent co, from grid supply, for example, six uh, lakhs units per month. Or typical industry, for example. In addition to this, is power is not always available. Spark at emergency power, MD reduction, or contract demand problem is there. Every company they have a DG set, diesel generating set, and they consume lot of diesel. So it also varies from one to two percent. Some companies even five percent they are spending lot of diesel they are burning it. Even then, it, nowadays there are a lot of renewable energy sources are available, like solar and wind power generation, and they have their own setup or they are purchasing contract, regular contract. So they are also re receiving the electricity from wind and solar, and their billing charges. And uh, if it is the price margin, will be maybe one or two rupees is less. So apart from that, there is a government laws. Renewable energy, every company or industrial establishment have to install. Are generate at least a 20 percentage of the total electricity they have to generate from uh, their own uh, rooftop or self generation. So there are other requirements. So by all those ways, different ways they are getting power. Then uh, how do we optimize this? How do we optimize? We are at different sources. So for this, how how to get the, ensure the reliability of the re continuous power supply and optimize the power cost. If you take a one unit of electricity from DG set, it is a twenty-five to thirty rupees. If you take it from electricity board, it is a six rupees, eight rupees. This may be one rupees less. 
So this is only initial investment. It is a free, but in investment in there. So how to optimize? So energy should be optimized and get the cheapest and the reliable power to the industry and the building sectors. Why I put it building today? Building also like hospital, IT buildings. These are all industry. Many people may not go for the service sector, but there are a lot of engineers are required in these industry sectors and mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, IT engineers also. So today, these some of the industry is consuming more energy. Government is putting a uh, DC units. DC means designated consumer. That means they are consuming a lot of energy every year. So they have to compulsorily conduct energy audit. So this we have to see whether DC unit or not. So now let us see a few slides about the global energy scenario and Indian energy scenario. In the world level, almost 80, 20, 80 percentage of the energy we derive from fossil fuels, which is environmentally, highly uh, environmental we are producing. Only 20% we are generating from this solar, wind, other hydro energies, as a whole nation, uh, world is concerned. The life of the energy in the world, uh, many people know that the gas is going to long last for 60 years, maybe, or even less than. Oil will be 40 or less than that, and coal may be 100 years, but it's a very poor uh, quality coal is there. So even if it is available, it may not be useful. So after, after all those things, so what is the history? Only in the last 200 years we are spending this kind of energy. Future is not available means what will happen to our future generation, future activities? It's a big question mark. So a lot of research is going for uh, sustainability projects. If you look at the Indian energy scenarios, we are highly vulnerable to these all those uh, fossil fuels. If we are not importing, we, we will, we, our, uh, our economy will go down. For example, if we go to our uh, petrol bank, our even uh, our vehicles, every we put 10 liters of uh, diesel or petrol, almost 85 percentage, that is 84 percentages, we it is getting from imported. Government of India is importing from other countries and supplying it. In India, only 1.5 percent is available. So we spend a lot of foreign exchange money, dollars. In fact, uh, in the last year, about 100 uh, 100 billion dollar they spent imported. And our export is 300 something, 300 dollars. So almost one third of energy goes to one basket called the oil. So if you look at the coal sector, coal sector also we are importing 40% of the coal consumption from other countries. And uh, another important thing, whatever we are getting electricity in our house, industry establishment, almost 75% of the electricity is generated from coal. That means a lot of pollution is released. So other countries, for example, German and other uh, France and, uh, and all, almost 90% they are nuclear energy. So there's a vast difference. We are a big polluter in the, in the world. If you look at the gas, the government of India is uh, relaxing the uh, gas consumption because it's uh, cheaper and uh, economically priced is less. So we are importing a lot of uh, gases. Here also we are importing more than 50%. So if you look at the, these three areas, what is the security of our country? If they are not able to import, people have stopped all those things, what we can do it? What industry will do? How we can run this life? So big question mark, 84%, 40%, 50% we are importing. We are dependent upon many other countries. So we have to become an independent. We have to conserve the energy means the pollution also reduces. This is an important thing for our Indian countries. If you look at the power sector, see, Almost, I said, 64% of the installed capacity is coal and hydro 13% and renewable 20%, nuclear energy 2%. Recent, as per the March 2020, so 37, uh, 3.7 uh, 3 lakhs megawatt capacity is installed in India. Even then, uh, we increased the keeps on during independence uh, 1947, uh, we have only 30. Uh, 1,500 megawatt, 1,500 megawatt. Today, so much we have, still we are the shortages of energy. The consumption compared to other countries, uh, we are, in world average is about 2,500. If you look at the America, they are using at 80 percent every year, 12,000 units they are spending in, Canada 15,000, even China about uh, uh, 2,600. But we are, uh, population is very high, 
and our per capita consumption is uh, very less. So this one figure shows the sad of living of our Indian uh, populations. So we have to increase the power consumption for various utilities, but at the same time we have to reduce the pollution. It's a big challenge. So if you electricity consumption, where are we are uses? We use industry, agricultural, domestic, commercial, traction, railways everywhere. That means energy used in all sector of economy. The job and employment opportunities are also available in all the sectors. So I will combine both energy and environment also with along the job opportunities. Hello. It's a pollution is another big angle problem. So we climatic change. The another problem world is facing is global warming and climatic change. Uh, India also is part with the climate reduction and uh, we produce pollution from all sector. Industrial pollution, transport pollution, even residential pollution. Everywhere we produce pollution because we use a lot of fossil fuels. So we have to uh, reduce this. So it uh, affects the health and uh, the future generation. So to meet this, where are energy is greenhouse gases produced? You know that there are six major greenhouse gases produced and we have to curtail down all those greenhouse gases like CO2, methane, nitrous oxide, HFCs and PFCs and sulfur hexafluoride. All we are releasing from different our day to day, our living sectors. From landfill and agriculture, we produce a lot of methane. So methane is one of the big uh, greenhouse gases and the pollutions from uh, uh, residential and industrial pollution and transport pollution. We produce a lot of greenhouse gases, which is leads to global warming. The temperature is increases almost last century about one degree and the recent uh, Paris agreement our India also signed uh, the world should not go another 1.5 degrees centigrade more than that otherwise we have a lot of uh, problems like sea level rising, the droughts and uh, water level rises everything is uh, the problems. So we have to cut down this temperature and also we avoid the climatic change problem. So for me, for meeting this climatic change mitigation, our government has signed that is called INDC commitments, you know, intent and national uh, commitments. So we have to reduce our emission pollution one third compared to 2005. What was our India's emission 2005 and 2030, we have to reduce one third, 35 percent. It's a big uh, job for uh, Indian conditions. Also, we have to generate 40% of electricity generation from non-fossil. That means we have to produce electricity from solar, wind, and bioenergies. It's a, it's a big challenge. Also, it's opportunities, advantages for employment opportunities. And also, in the future, there is another uh, uh, voluntary carbon disclosure. Just like energy audit is compulsory, you have to release your carbon uh, disclosure. If you produce a one, one unit of a product, how much it consumes water, how much it consumes the carbon. So this is a voluntary. Future it becomes a mandatory. There is another scope for the job employment. Then already this uh, national solar mission is ongoing. 175 gigawatt of uh, power power uh, solar power has to be constructed in Indian uh, industries. Uh, the last Modi government is given a lot of money on this. Is uh, so nationwide campaign for energy conservation is also there. Smart city commission is also there. So we have to see challenges. We also see employment opportunities because of this. So now what our government has taken so far, our initiatives for meeting the climatic change and global warming. Then there are five, six major schemes introduced by the government of India. The one is a designated consumer. That is a, more than sir, around 1,000 industries or designated industries, that means they have to conduct PAT audit compulsorily and reduce the energy intensity. And promoting MSME industries by energy efficiency. All the upcoming uh, building, that is IT building, new construction, ECBC code, energy construction building code has to be followed. So another uh, the, uh, uh, scheme is going on. And demand side management means agricultural DSM and municipality DSM. All this area, what are the scope for improvement for energy conservation? A lot of funds are there and projects are there by government. Then uh, standard leveling. If you see the home appliances and industrial uh, small size appliances, it's all very energy efficient or not energy efficient. And there is a government of India is introduced to SNL standard and leveling. 
you might have seen the five star label and three star label like acs washing machines tube lights etc so if you are not meeting the minimum efficiency level the company will not be allowing to manufacture itself company will be banned or the import will be banned only if you meeting this sandal standard efficiency you are allowed to sell it in the market because india is a huge population of the market you cannot dump uh, any other inefficient product in india so that scheme is going on and the last one the certification of energy auditors so the energy area is a lot of opportunities is there then uh, who will do it who is that correct qualified persons available in india for that only 2003 india has uh, uh, created a qualified we have to produce energy auditor energy manager to take care of these activities for that they suggested the exam patterns and minimum qualification and you know almost 20 examination has been conducted in country for the last two decades from 2000 onwards so i was involved in this last area a certification of energy auditor energy manager directly i have in this field about 20 years experience from 2000 to even today now this pat audit is important perform achieve trade designated consumer means energy intensive industries they have to appoint one certified energy manager directly there is an employment opportunities if you if you become energy manager certified energy manager they will be looking for you so so there is one area direct employment and uh, the company also has to reduce the energy consumption norms meeting so you cannot every year you cannot increase energy consumption every year you have to show some 4 to 5% reduction you have to do a lot of energy conservation activities in your industry so like just like uh, uh, financial e file income tax filing every company has to file e file in the network uh, the b website uh, that's called e filing the energy manager has to do e filing activity every year and uh, provide all the information how much they are consuming every year every month etc so there is a target at least to come 4 to 5% every year they have to reduce it. energy consumption norms is been also revised every year suppose if you do the last 3 years the next 3 years what will you do again they will ask you to reduce it so it is all there is a big uh, network is going on and uh, activity is going in this countries in india so far about 18000 energy managers are already passed and in the field and still a lot of opportunities are there in industries so these are where will you get the job these are all uh, government is notified initially it was a uh, nine nine sectors are there now they increased to 13 sectors petroleum building sectors so every 3 years they have to conduct energy audit and submit the report again there the reduction like that the pat cycle 3 is going on so the all industries they have to submit a file and 2018 21 whether they achieved or not so this activities all those industries there is a lot of opportunities for energy professionals and uh, so that means we have to do energy audit in industries and building so coming to the the engineers all the electrical and mechanical or instrumentation engineers they have one way or other they have to spend some time on this electrical distribution system lighting all the utilities used in the industries they have to spend and improve the energy efficiency so similarly all the building sectors the newly the building sector also notified so means hospitals health care assemblies business house large big house education institutions i have done some five energy audit in university building recently and it buildings hospitals and also hotel buildings i have experiences in all all areas right all area, even airport also we have done railways i have done the last 3 months back so everywhere these buildings uh, energy conservation scopes are there government is gives a norms if a new building you want to construct if more than 1000 meters square you have to undergo ecbc requirement the government has also introduced ecbc code if you want a new building construction or also old building uh, retrofitting you have to follow this norms so the advantage is that there is a norms the benchmarking so normally a typical building consume 200 to 300 units per square meter per year but if you the easy bc the best code will consume less than 100 that means the industry also 50 to 60 percentage of the energy is being wasted so there are lot of opportunities in in energy conservation in industrial sector also that is why they put sndl and easy bc code this tpc code similar to lead graha and lead certification us like that then another important milestone is india has achieved 
they made a standard labeling. You see, all the home appliances use a five star uh, AC, five star light, five star uh, product. So, uh, so, 20 products has been already notified. Otherwise, we cannot sell it in the market. So, whatever you use in the home, it should be energy efficient. Electricity bills should come down. So, they also find nowadays, in addition to domestic devices, agricultural pumps, set motors, industrial equipments, fans, pumps, blowers also, five star is available. So, the energy auditors and procurement company in industry or a maintenance engineer has to look for this kind of energy efficient uh, product. Then, this is about the certification of energy auditors, energy manager in India. This is about 2,300, the examination conducted by the Bureau of Energy and uh, on behalf of BEA. National Productivity Council is conducted. So, these are the four books. If you pass the examination in three books, you call it as an energy manager. If you pass the fourth one, that is the performance evaluation of equipments, you will be calling as an energy auditor. The qualification for the energy manager is even diploma holders with six year experiences or engineers with uh, three years experiences, they can write the examination. And uh, you can become energy manager, then you can also upgrade to energy auditor if you write the fourth examination. So this is about the 20 examination is already 25 centers across the country has been conducted. Now coming September, maybe a uh, 21st examination will be conducted. So, what are the other government initiatives taken by the government? All the new car, we should follow Euro 6, electric hybrid car, so methanol, ethanol blending. So, there's a lot of opportunities in this area for uh, young entrepreneurs. And renewable energy area, another big thrust is there. So, our uh, Modi government has given now 175 gigawatt power generation for a the renewable energy, out of which solar alone 100 gigawatt. You can see, I find a lot of my friends and uh, students they taken up a rooftop solar in the buildings, hospitals as an entrepreneurship. Many students, I know, they become entrepreneur and doing well. So unemployed youth farm. There is a program also to learn unemployed youth farms and government, state, private, other sectors are there. Solar park is there. This is one of the area of a huge employment opportunities. Then our the government of India has initiated the micro microgrid. You can uh, locally you can generate uh, electricity and uh, supply there itself. There is a lot of uh, concession and activities given. The smart city, 100 smart cities created. You have uh, both IT, non-IT, IoT things, metering, and uh, the uh, energy conservation opportunities are there. And uh, smart grid. Today we have a surplus power, but we don't know how to evacuate the electricity from a uh, windmill area. Because of that, the windmill is not doing well. So the smart grid is one of the constraints. If we improve this, we can generate a lot of uh, power generation from renewable energies. So another application of the new IoT technologies, even the electronics and communication engineers become an energy, energy specialist. They have a lot of scope in IoTs. All the decision making, monitoring, verification of energy consumption, and, and whatever the available for decision making to stop equipments or not. So industrial application, both the utilities and the entire factories we can have. Hello. Hello, sir. Big data. Uh, sir, there was a voice break. There was a voice break, sir. Okay, continue. What is energy audit? What is energy management? In a, a, my own a practical experiences. The energy management in every industry is, we know how to, almost 50% of the energy is being wasted or, uh, or improperly used. So the whole idea is to eliminate all the waste so that the efficiency of the energy is utilized well and they improve the efficiency of the each and every technology equipment in the factory and build power supply uh, power supply or energy at the lowest cost the procurement itself whether it is energy or equipment we should buy the energy efficient one so energy management is nothing but the process of monitoring daily regularly controlling all the food values and conserving energy in industries so it has to be inbuilt in the system. Not one man cannot do all those activities. So for that only, the ISO, you might have heard about ISO 9000, ISO 14004. For energy, managing energy, it's a lot of variables are there. So ISO standards, if we combine, already if we have a system, you can integrate ISO 5001 or you can introduce so that you can manage the energy efficiency in continuous manner. So you can do one day go to energy efficiency, next day what will happen, next week what will happen. 
to sustain the energy efficiency, you have to introduce the ISO 50000 R1 professional standards. So the standard is but a plan, do, check activity, any of the ISO series activities. That is be a responsible person is there, top management giving support so that the energy is not wasted always. You can monitor. Another important thing is the training industry because energy is used everywhere, distribution and the supply utilization area. One may not, one, uh, one person cannot do everything. So we have to raise the awareness among all the employees by giving a capacity building training and the skilled manpower in each area. So technologies and practices, best operating process. I used to go there those days. And now I'm not able to because of this COVID-19. So I used to run half a day program or awareness program at the free of cost also and uh, to create awareness. A lot of uh, energy interest is being created in the country. If you become energy audit, energy manager, what are the scope? All of you know that it's called the onion diagram. One example, it is applicable to even home also. Every man can do it. In the onion diagram, you can see the actual requirement is for energy requirement by well level, the last one. Actually needed real services for the, the, last, the last one. Energy services really needed. But we are consuming the big circle, like how there is an improper process improvement, in process uh, not uh, plant optimization not done. We are not introduced IoT and ICT. Operation is poor and good housekeeping is bad. So if you if we go to energy auditor. situation home also industry also and hotel it also so there are a lot of advantages that for introducing the energy audit so energy audit is a as per the easy act definition is given we have to go and verify how much energy used where it is used how efficiently it is used monitoring what is the last month last last year compared to the production what is the benchmark analyze and bring out the uh, energy efficiency improvement measures if we go to the doctors, he will give a suggestion. Just like that, energy auditor will give the suggestion for improvement. Electrical, electrical equipment, thermal equipment, lux meters, anima meters, water flow meters. So it's about more than 20 lakhs of uh, what uh, to be one set of instruments if you want to become a real energy auditing company. And uh, we have to use this, all those uh, getting the real and accurate information for making a good suggestion. Then, if you energy auditor actually do it, if you look at the pump, what is the design efficiency, what the current efficiency? You should know the, what is the benchmark, specific energy consumption, KWH per liter of diesel, per, per liter of water. For example, if a blower, what is the normal metric of where, how much electricity is generated? So this is SCC we have to find out and compare with the design and the manufacturing. And what is the gap? and also given suggestions. Similarly, thermal equipment like boiler, furnace, etc. also we have to do energy audit and they give the improvements. So there are a lot of uh, benchmark available. So I used to go to one of the hotel industries. I asked what is the KWH per uh, square meter per year. He said 300. So if you today the best industry is operating only 100. That means he is wasting 60% of the energy. He got a shock. Then I got an uh, energy audit. I have almost uh, given about 25% uh, uh, of energy saving potential I have shown in that uh, industry also. So the benchmarking is a figure it gives uh, for uh, uh, deep and deeper energy is uh, engineering all the core engineering or even civil engineering, same case, energy efficiency improvements. For example, VESD, variable speed drive, energy efficient motors, energy efficient pumps. So you go on deeper and deep, you have to do technically involved energy audit. So I have I have more than 400 energy that I already said the inter, uh, conducted. We, I asked about operating conditions. So, so the day one and the evening, I stopped the central So actually, out of the three, two actual load is very less. For uh, four or five months operating two pumps set, and actually one is sufficient. Each one is a 10 kilowatt motor, 
is operating continuously. So carefully analyzing, we can stop one motor completely. So similarly, another industry we see the 5 HP motor can be replaced with 1 HP motor. So over size ceiling, over loading, capacity utilization poor, you have to study and give the suggestions. So what are the advantages for the energy savings? What I can do? For industry, you will get direct benefit like your electricity bill is reduces, competitiveness increases, and quality and the safety also will improve. For the nation, our government of India need not import so much oil and uh, gases. Our import bill reduces and emission is reduces. We can also meet the global climatic change mitigation requirements for the global level. So in one stone, three mangoes, we call it as, if you do energy saving activities, it is useful for the industry and nation and globe. So now we go to the, third, the important area of uh, em employment opportunities for the uh, energy profession in the country. I divide into the four uh, areas like career opportunities, entrepreneur opportunities, research and research project opportunities, and academic courses, higher education. Several self-employment opportunities available in all those areas. So the first one is engineering. You, you do not worry about the, what kind of a branch you are. You may be electrical or mechanical, it doesn't matter. Energy is everywhere it is used. Your role is there definitely in energy management field. So only thing the engineers require, the problem solver, just like your doctors solve the problem of human being, you have to be enough uh, to solve the problem of uh, engineering industrial problem, more better efficiently, quicker method, reducing the cycle time reduction, how economically it is better like that your angle should be done. So normally the people will consider from the college to industry, they are uh, they, without much uh, industrial exposure, you don't know the, the, where the opportunity is available. So the industrial situation campus is different, your college campus is different. Classroom is different and baller room is different. So you have to add additional qualification. It just a B-Tech B is not sufficient. What are the other qualification, extra qualification to meet the real down to earth requirement? We can cope up with the industrial environment. So that you have to see, you have to upgrade your knowledge or additional qualification, additional certification is a must for doing well, better employment, better salary and immediate employment. So for that, one thing you should understand, you do not uh, focus on one industry. I will go to only automobile industries, mechanical engineers. No. The supply chain management, if you take any product for a human being, whether it's a cloth or in a bike, there is a supply chain industry. From raw material to final product, there are a number of industries are there. Take for example, cloth, cotton cloth. There is a ginning factory, there is another factory, there is a weaving factory before coming to the dyeing and uh, also the, the knitwear, and finally the sales. Here, all those places, energy used. There is an engineer sense required, electrical engineer is required, automation is required. Anywhere you can think of, you can fit into these systems. The only thing you have to make yourself qualified for that, if you go there, any employers will say, are you suitable to my industrial environment? So you have to cope up with this. So that way, energy professional, everywhere you will fit it, if you become this energy professional. So once you become a qualified energy manager, energy auditors, the first way, straight away, you will join industry as energy manager after qualification. For that, you at least you record some two to three years of experiences and qualify this and you will definitely get a good job in a, all those designated industries. And if you become energy auditors, you can do yourself energy auditing agency or yourself you can do energy auditing services also. Then, entrepreneur opportunities. The lot of entrepreneurs, the ESCO companies, you might have called it, so a lot of maintenance contract, facility management contractor, or installation contractors, uh, rooftop solar, windmill, bioenergy systems, or the management, no, uh, YNM contract, uh, or IoT nowadays, uh, BMS, EMF softwares, all those available. Uh, you can become an entrepreneur and provide the services uh, in, in industries. So these are an example, rooftop for grid system, on-grid, off-grid, solar pumping, solar energy system, a lot of opportunities are there. And uh, uh, yeah, then you have renewable energies also scopes there in India and future also. There is a brigading and uh, solar drying it and biogas, uh, producer gas. So all those things is uh, uh, going on. Only thing you have to see the right uh, areas. So this is a very hot take today. IoT-based, real-time-based monitoring and verification system. 
I know many of my more than ten friends, ten of my students, they are involving in this electrical engineers or even IT engineers, ICT engineers. So the solution for IoT is so monitor real time basis. All the information goes to the cloud computing and get the decision making switches, which are facilities of uh, all the operations problems. So energy optimization is done in a energy auditing is very useful. All the sector is available. These opportunities. Then another thing is the hardcore electrical mechanical engineers. You have one area. For example, even if you look at the water flow meters, if you one if you specialize, your job is made. Or even a boiler wind up, right? Like like that. I know one of my company, one of my friend is doing only leak reduction, leak reduction program in industry. You go to the industry every three months once and arrest the compressed air leakage with ultrasonic flow meters, ultrasonic leak detector, and uh, periodically four or five industries having it. He's own, uh, owning his own company, wind up contract. Then even civil engineers can do this a lot of uh, the energy green building certification, green building institutional uh, energy efficiency improvement pro programs. So a lot of uh, buildings like IT park offices, there's a lot of potential. In industry, in building also 40% of the energy is consumed and pollution also created. So there is a building energy audit as per LEED certification, Graha certifications are there. Now any MNC companies are uh, building, they want to become a green initiative. I know recently some of my engineering colleges or institution, they want to become a green building so that they will attract the brand name and also reduce the energy consumption and improve the environment. So that is another green building activities going on. And the research projects in India world over is going on fuel cell, hybrid vehicle, etc., solar, wind, etc., fuel cell and the hybrid hydrogen car, hybrid car activities and bioenergy also a lot of uh, uh, bioenergy uh, production from the base stages, crop base stages they are producing, process project is there, a lot of research center is there, you can think of who are interested in this area also. The finally, the energy manager certification, higher courses. I know a lot of engineering college in higher course like MTech energy, energy related area, so they can go for research on other activities in India and abroad also. So National Productivity Council is conducting this uh, a examination once in a year, uh, almost every uh, September in every year. These are 20th, 20 examination is already conducted from 2003. And uh, if you see the, this is, this is the uh, US is giving AEE. Uh, in America also, they are giving a CEM, CE auditors. All other countries, foreign countries, they are accepting this. And uh, it is a very simple, if you go to abroad one week training, you'll get the certification, you'll get a certified energy manager in that country opportunities. But India is very tough. And, uh, but very knowledge, very uh, best one. And uh, this is uh, what uh, I am doing it after I worked in 30 years in NPC. And I am giving all those service product line. So all these areas I am giving, you can also think of energy audit, PAT audit, IOS 50,000, building audit, energy manage, uh, initiative, green initiatives, and IoT installation, energy efficiency product selling and marketing and export companies, what product, shaped product. So all industries are applicable and uh, training is one of the important activities, each and every areas. So even uh, MTech or the undergraduate, UG graduate, uh, the relevant subjects uh, we already is there in the curriculum. So I also uh, give the lectures and a lot of potential is there. So while studying itself, we became a master in one of the areas. When you go to the interview, you definitely will get a uh, preference, no doubt about that. Yes, this is so. These are the four books, and many engineering college have a syllabus on the, all the four books as it is. So you can also download from a website from BE also. So the training is uh, the different art. Those are not like uh, any other classroom. A lot of interactive practical training should be involved. So this energy related uh, areas, is, whether it's a mechanical utility, electrical utilities. So yes, skilled development is uh, done in a better way. So I, I have uh, developed also special packages for uh, these areas, uh, any area of electrical mechanical system. You can learn quickly, lifelong learning, without any doubt you can learn it uh, if you approach the, this kind of model. A lot of interactive assessment, class test, subjective will be there, a one to one will be there. So thank you very much, uh, dear friends, and uh, I thank once again the management for giving a nice opportunities. I hope it will be useful. You can, uh, anytime you can uh, give an email to my mail or you can contact me or you can see that my website and uh, now I am ready to uh, face the, any questions is there. 
thank you very much thank you sir some of the questions are asked by the participant what is the difference yeah. between energy auditing and energy management different between See, energy, energy audit auditors yeah so in india there is energy auditors energy management two courses are there you have seen the four books out of four books if you pass three books you call it as a certified energy manager certification the qualification is there given diploma holder their experience they can write the examination the idea of energy manager you will see that it is used in thermal energy electric energy pump fan motors so you are working the company and taking care of energy related area when you go o and m office or one and m training or a maintenance section you are not only a, the job is gone you have to know about the energy efficiency your value also upgraded simply doing i am uh, operation and maintenance i am doing it if you become energy manager your value is going your salary is going your knowledge is improving to for uh, uh, valued persons in industry in industry you can go to this so energy manager even an engineer can write msc candidate can write uh, engineer can write. but energy auditor only engineer with uh, two three years experiences can write exams if you become energy auditor you can go to energy audit like me you can become uh, you can go to any industry sugar industry paper industry msme you can advise you can go to advise this is the difference yes thank you yeah. sir what is the role any of the question yes sir what is the role of energy manager and energy auditor a role of energy manager you will get the you, you get the appointment as energy manager and you have to submit the file e file to the government of india that is be about your organization energy consumption every year you are reducing or not and you have to conduct energy audit in your industry it is your job it is a responsibility or duties of energy manager role in industry energy audit is a freelance consultant so you energy auditor become accredited energy auditors his role is to conduct energy audit submit the report as per the format given by the uh, government of india sir what is the opportunities available in india and abroad for energy auditor and energy manager what oh india india definitely you certified energy matters consultancy organization as i said uh, nowadays i have trained some two internship candidate last year he worked with me Only six months. He got the first interview. He got the job. So anywhere you have experiences, energy manager, energy auditing experiences. So all the every company have a five six energy auditors who can do well the jobs. So employment opportunities is increase or institution also available. Sir, abroad we go you can uh, yeah. Okay, okay, continue, continue, sir. Abroad. Yeah, in abroad we go CEM. All the Arab countries, other countries, they want the CEM given by the US American. Uh, certification uh, that is one day if you pass the indian examination if you go why immediately you can write the examination sit down and you can pass and you can apply for that the lot of opportunities and other but you need other cem abroad sir you are explain about that exam opportunity for a energy manager and energy auditor who can write that examination what are the specialization available please let me know that the participant may be useful for this take away to the home the exam is india is conducted by bureau of energy efficiency there is a website also be india.gov.in can you write it there uh, the chat box sir can you write it there yeah the box, uh, yeah you can see just the bureau of energy efficiency uh, bureau of energy efficiency uh, even energy auditor examination if you put google you will get everything absolutely available and the national priority council is conducting examination these two organization a uh, the upper bracket body and uh, the uh, once in a year it is conducted in uh, september months there are uh, 25 centers across the country in chandigarh 
and uh, uh, delhi calcutta mumbai chennai like that download this material students cannot write immediately examination you have to get two years experiences sir so I'm what i'm suggesting of work for uh, some industries get these experiences but simultaneously you upgrade your knowledge any other uh, diploma course available energy you can upgrade so the once moment the two years certification is there immediately you can write it sir any opportunities for entrepreneur yeah entrepreneur now the uh, solar rooftop iot uh, energy management system installation and commissioning and wyndham contract but uh, each energy manufacturing company for example uh, a refrigeration air conditioning company they want to take uh, energy engineers so even if you google it if you find energy engineers energy preference will be given to energy engineers energy auditors energy professionals so all the manufacturers like um, uh, equipment supplier like refrigeration air conditioning boilers furnaces thermax for example boiler furnace air emission product so only you are even a marketing management you and the explain the customers this is the best from r and d design marketing wind down all industries job opportunities are uh, sir i yeah. i have in my home i have yeah. 650 units i am charging yeah. 50 units i am yes. uh, paying for 3000 rupees can i tell my yeah. system available with uh, with my home that uh, uh, that uh, part yeah. yeah, very there. much this is uh, actually if you want to very good question you asked mr kanan this is yeah. a home audit actually the energy you have to understand the real what is energy efficiency so everybody they can learn from mother or a kitchen or in our home so he is rightly said 600 units means you know our uh, tamil nadu of more than 500 units the bill goes to beyond 2000 3000 rupees if you just reduce from 600 to 500 or below 500 that's 480 1000 1200 rupees you can save money so how do you save you can do energy audit i have also published a separate home audit so i have done a residential flat uh, some uh, five six uh, house also 50 percentage of the rent is bill can, can be reduced so you uh, myself i used to pay 2000 and i am paying only 900 rupees so many of my friends they ask 3000 and all every bi monthly now they are paying only nine, what i told replace with energy efficient and you have a trivector meter you monitor how much is consuming where and and you go for bldc fan led fan or even a water pump is there energy efficient water pump you install so water consumption you can uh, aerated water trap so water consumption electricity consumption you can do it so every house you have a potential about 50 percentage of the energy is being wasted in home also in electricity so that is a uh, you can start practice so if you want to start a real energy audit you can, many i used to suggest it to start home in home also become like industry you have a refrigeration air conditioning system ventilation system fan pump compressors everything you have electrical thermal energy so each one if you learn it this is the best way to learn and uh, become enriched in the energy professional areas good good question you asked thank you um okay uh, okay. sir the, there is one question in the chat box one mr yeah. uh, karthikeyan vijayarangan he asked about uh, when will be the examination conducted sir and also he is he has requested to share the ppt ah uh, okay so the normally september last week every year september last week saturday sunday examination and saturday two papers sunday two papers uh, 25 centers across the country will be conducted the by end of this month i think the, the advertisement notification from npc website as well as the be website will come i think next one week it is going to come so you have to apply online and uh, 10000 rupees you have to pay to the bureau of energy efficiency government of india to if you apply anybody applied in 3 years even lecturers i know some of the experience 5 6 years experience lecturers they are attending i also give the training to them some of the colleges so you will receive all the four books 
once you receive the four books you will uh, study yourself and uh, some people are conducting at coaching also i also conduct coaching and uh, examination you have to write it the last is 20 years of exp question paper available in the net you can download it the book also you can download even other students can download and keep reading it so this is what exam is conducted what is a pattern sir pattern question paper pattern actually it is a kind of experiences are required uh, objective type 50 marks and small question theory and numerical 50 marks and uh, long term long questions that is a real uh, solve problem solving question new long numerical problem 50 marks so all the three papers 150 marks so three types 50 50 50 objectives small numerical and uh, theoretical question and uh, long numerical and theoretical questions what will be the syllabus content for the examination sir syllabus content uh, the four books one is all electrical utility electrical utility means uh, electrical distribution system uh, capacitor transformer pump fan compressors uh, vfds like that and the thermal boiler furnaces, cogeneration, heat exchangers, you can see that a syllabus also available there. And uh, there's a first one is a general aspect of energy management. What are the laws, financial management, environment, renewable energy, etc. So each chapter, there are 10 chapters. So the last one also about 10 chapters. So 10 into 4, uh, about 40 models are there. Each book have a 10 to 12 titles. So uh, I am uh, also the planning to give uh, online coaching just in developing it. Otherwise, directly we are, I used to go to colleges, 10 lectures I used to give or 10 engineers I used to give the training. Uh, but you can uh, read it. Once if you read it, once read it, you will understand. So many college lectures are also passed the certified energy managers and energy auditors. What is the minimum mark to pass, sir? Part A, part B. 50%. Part B. Out of 75, you should get a score minimum 50%. Okay. 75 that means yeah even if you fail one next year you can write three years you can extend out of three if you are passing two next year you can write no problem only add some exam fees some 500 rupees you have to pay is there any age limit is there sir no age limit there uh, number appearance also unlimited i am a retired persons many retired chief engineers are writing all people's no upper age lower age limit is there that is we have to pass three years for experience. So that is automatically age limit only lawyer side, not higher side. Sir, you mentioned about training. So what is the duration of the training and what are the fees charged for that? See, the, when I was in NPC, we always not only I, I NPC, the five days course. Five days course means four books in four days. The last day is a uh, session that is a practical session, how to solve the problems like that. Five days course. They used to charge uh, uh, support uh, 10,000 to 12,000 rupees uh, only. A booking lodging provided, another thing extra is there. So, like that, uh, Delhi, Calcutta, Mumbai, it is conducted. So, uh, that's what they conducted. Now, this year, I don't know many people, uh, people are not moving. So, people have just started online courses. So it's, uh, I don't know how it is. I'm also planning online courses. So, uh, if it is available, everything is uh, no problem. Uh, I think attending the five days course is uh, better. You will get a, but before that, some has to read and go. Otherwise, you will be wasting. Okay, sir. Uh, there was one question from Mr. Thir Tamil Kumaran. Is there any separate yeah. course, especially to become energy auditor and manager? Uh, there is actually the college is giving only MTech energy management, uh, energy engineering, uh, like that only. It is a PG and UG. For example, Agriculture University is giving energy and environment. BE, BTEC, energy and environment. Uh, Devi Agalia is giving MTEC, energy and environment. So, once if you become uh, even MTEC, energy management, you cannot become energy auditor. Energy management. In India, it is a law. Energy Conservation Act 2001. So, you have to write this, this examination and pass it. So, but being an MTech energy management, definitely you can have a edge over others and you can do well. You can one sitting, you can pass our industry also. The opportunities are more. You R&D, you can go job, project management, you can go. But certification is not valid as per the government of India, except a NPC or BE is given. Uh, Anand, sir. Yeah. I hope that uh, we can propose the vote of thanks. Yes, sir. Sir, any other question? No more question, no? Sir, no, no, uh, no, no. 
No questions, sir. No okay, questions. you can uh, uh, continue for the vote of thanks. Uh, respected uh, guest speaker, Mr. Darbalingam, sir, professors, faculty, students, and other participants, good evening to all. On behalf of our management, faculty, students, and other participants, and on my own behalf, I extend my sincere thanks to our guest speaker, Mr. P. Darbalingam, sir, for accepting our request to present this webinar on the topic energy management, energy auditing, and employment opportunities. Sir, thank you for uh, sparing your valuable time and for giving thank a you. wonderful uh, presentation, sharing the details on career opportunities, which is very beneficial for our uh, students and also for our faculty. I thank our management for permitting and guiding us to organize this uh, webinar. I thank uh, Professor Dr. Kannan and other panelists for organizing this webinar. I thank all the participants for this, for their participation in this webinar. I thank our uh, IT manager, Mr. Nibin Matthew, for being the host uh, for this webinar. Thank you all. And I request all the participants to fill the feedback form, which will be sent to you shortly. Once you submit the feedback form, you will be able to get your e-certificates. E thank you one and all.